Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to be introduced to logarithms. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Oh, and by the way, Charlie gets very nervous when you use the word logarithm, so we'll try not to use that word too much, but let's see what he's up to. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? What? Yeah, guess what? Today we're doing your favorite subject. What? That's logarithm. Oh, gosh. That's right. So here we go, Charlie. Introduction to logarithm. You okay over there? All right. Don't worry, Charlie. Logarithms will be easy. You just got to pay attention, and you'll see you'll be very good at them. Okay, here we go. Now, let's say this sentence right here, Charlie. Go ahead and say it. What exponent do you raise base 3 to to get 9? That's right. Okay. So, Charlie, what exponent do you raise 3 to the power of to get 9? 2. That's right, Charlie. You realize you just did a logarithm. What? That's right. Uh huh. All right. So, let's go ahead and let's uh, translate that sentence into a math statement. Watch. Pay attention, Charlie. What, what exponent will let that be x? Okay. Do you raise 3 to the power of and so 3 is our base, that's right, to get, that'll be our equals, 9. And we'll go ahead and write down 9. Now, what is the answer, Charlie? If 3 to the x power equals 9, the answer is x equals what, Charlie? 2. That's right, Charlie. That's because 3 raised to the second power is equal to 9. There you go, Charlie. So, in our equation up there, 3 to the x power equals 9, okay, we have x is equal to what, Charlie? 2. 2, that's right, because the solution is 2. So you are doing logarithms, Charlie. That's right, you're excited, huh? What? Okay, now what I want you to do, Charlie, is take out your magical mathematics microphone. Now that microphone there will translate whatever you say into math. What? That's right. Okay, but before we get started, we got to do a little bit of a calibration, make sure it works, because it's got to recognize your voice. So here we go, Charlie. So um, you got to answer a few questions for me. So here we go. Now, Charlie, what is your favorite type of dessert? Pie. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it goes. Uh, oh, let me see. Yeah, there's still something wrong here. Okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Okay. All right, Charlie, let's go for another question here. Okay, when you write your name out, What's the last letter that you write down? E. Oh, okay, what? yeah, there we go. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, let's, hold on, one more thing here. Okay, Charlie, what's the second to the last letter when you write your name down? I. Okay, well, oh, I got it. I'm sorry. I had the thing set to calculus. I got to put it back to algebra. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Here we go, Charlie. I think I got it now. Okay, go ahead, Charlie. Okay, it's set to algebra. Go ahead and say whatever you want. My name is Charlie. Very nice, Charlie. Shazam! All right, Charlie, quit floating around over there, okay? We gotta get to work. Shazam. Anyway, here we go, Charlie. Okay, there's our sentence up there. Now I want you to read, and the microphone will do its job, okay? Now read slowly, because it will translate when it recognizes what you just said, okay? So here we go, Charlie. Go ahead and read it slowly. Two. That's right. Is. Okay. The exponent. And that's our logarithm, that's true. You raise base 3 to. Okay, you raise base 3, there's your 3 there. To get 9. And there you go, Charlie. Uh -huh. Now there it is. There's the sentence up there, translated to a math statement using the magical mathematics microphone. All right, Charlie, now, this is called the logarithmic form, okay? Now, once you look at your microphone, you'll see a switch there, and I wanted you to change the switch from logarithmic form to exponential form. Go ahead. All right, now I want you to read the same sentence again. Here we go. Read it slowly. Two okay. is the exponent. You raise base three two. Very nice. To get nine. There you go. Now, is that statement true? Is three squared equal nine, Charlie? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, that is our exponential form. So there you go. These two equations are basically equivalent, except this is the logarithmic form, that's the exponential form. Okay, let's do another one, Charlie. Give this one a try. Three. 
Okay, is your microphone in logarithmic form? Yeah. Okay. Is the exponent. You raise base 2 to 2 get 8. Very nice, Charlie, and that's our logarithmic form. Okay, now put it back to exponential form. Okay, go ahead and read it. 3 is the exponent. You raise base 2 to to get 8, and that is the exponential form. Now notice, Charlie, is 2 raised to the third power 8? Yeah. Yes, it is, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Okay, very nice try. So let's do another one. Let's make it a tougher one, okay? But I want to turn off the graphics, so all you got to do is read and watch it translate, okay? Make sure in logarithmic form. Here we go. 4 thirds is the exponent you raise base 8 to to get 16. Mm -hmm. That's it, Charlie. That is true. Now flip it over to exponential form and go ahead and read it. Four thirds is the exponent you raise base 8 to to get 16. And there you go. That is the exponential form. Very nice, Charlie. That mi magic mathematical microphone works every time. Okay, anyway. Okay, Charlie, so now let's talk about those fractional exponents. Now, if you're not in intermediate algebra or maybe beginning algebra yet, and you haven't covered fractional exponents, you'll get there. But let me talk a little bit about what a fractional exponent is. Notice here, the magical mathematics microphone said that 8 raised to the 4 thirds power is equal to 16. Well, what actually happens when you have a fractional exponent, the denominator represents a radical. Meaning, since that's a 3, you actually have a cube root. And it's actually a cube root of 8 raised to the 4th. So let's go ahead and outline that, Charlie. Here we go. 8 to the 4 thirds, 8 raised to the 4 thirds powers is actually equal to 8, which is the base. Now, that denominator there of the 4 thirds means that you have a cube root of 8, okay? And now the cube root of 8 is being raised to the 4th power. There you go. Now, what's the cube root of 8, Charlie? 2. That's 2, that's right, okay? And then, what's 2 to the 4th power? 16. 16, very nice, Charlie. Very nice. So, here we go, Charlie. We just learned that 8 to the 4 thirds power is 16. So, if you're walking down the street and someone asks you, hey, Charlie, what's log base 8 of 16? Well, what they're really asking you is, what do you raise 8 to the power of to get 16, Charlie? And what did we just find out? It's four thirds. four thirds, that's right. So if someone comes up to, it, to you and asks you, hey, what's log base 8 of 16? You're going to say what, Charlie? Four thirds. Four thirds, that's right, okay? Now, that completes our introduction to logarithms. Ah, oh, I guess you're cured, Charlie. That's huh? right. Yep. Anyway, we're going to come back and we're going to do some more logarithms. So we hope to see you all soon. All right, Charlie, you better do your homework and get to work. Well,